What's up guys, David here from PhoneWolf.com and in this video I'm giving you my top 5 tips to saving or conserving data on your Android phone. So tip number 1 is to turn off your background data on your settings. So go over to your settings, go to accounts and sync and you can either turn off all background data by tapping the off button and so this is an ice cream sandwich on gingerbread or below what you're going to do is same thing and go to settings and then you're going to scroll down to accounts and sync but you can actually just uncheck background data. Hit OK and I can see uh, these will automatically turn off. So let me hit OK and there you go, it turns off. So anyway, I'll go back to this phone and um, as you can see, I already turned off all background data, but say you don't want to do that. You know, I want my Gmail accounts to still sync. I can just go into, for example, my Twitter, uncheck it, and then go over to like this email account and uncheck it if I wanted to as well. So this is just one way of, you know, reducing the amount of things that are synced in the background, which of course take up data. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to either delete the widgets you're not using. So I have a whole bunch of widgets on my home screen. Um, if you're not using the widget, just delete them right off because every time those things sync up with the server uh, for whatever widget it is, for example, this ESPN uh, widget uh, syncs with ESPN servers, CNN with CNN servers, etc. So if I'm not using them, just delete them. But otherwise, let's say for example, uh, this weather widget, I, I still want to keep it on my phone, but I don't want it to use as much data as it is right now. I could tap on it, go over to the settings. Now obviously the settings are going to be a little bit different for each widget, but I'll just use this as an example. So you go to the settings, um, in this case it would be under weather services, and you can see the refresh interval. I'm just going to push it to let's say 2 hours. Um, you know sometimes I see people with their phones set at 15 minutes, and obviously if it's set at 15 minutes, every single you know hour you're going to check it 4 times, where if you have it at 1 hour or 2 hours, you can be checking a lot less, and obviously you don't really need um, it to check all that often. So anyway, that's step number 2. Uh, tip number three is to go over to your settings if you're on ice cream sandwich or above and go to data usage and set yourself a data warning and a data limit. So for example, I'm just going to set my data limit right now at five gigabytes. And what you could actually do is go over to your app. So for example, I'll go to Facebook and uh, if you wanted to uh, restrict the app to only use data when you're actually opening the app itself on the screen, you could do that. So you can just check this restrict background data button, hit OK. And now Facebook won't uh, use the data unless I actually open the app myself. So obviously, if I want notifications still, I can uncheck it, but you get the idea. I mean, you could do this with just about any app that shows up in this list, and that's definitely a good way to save yourself, uh, you know, a few megabytes here and there of data. So now step number four, or tip number four, is to, when you go on your browser, use the mobile websites whenever you can. So I know it's nice to look at full websites on your Android phone because, hey, they can load them up, but Honestly, mobile websites are not only faster, but they also take up a lot less data. And uh, another thing you want to do is go over to your settings and say you're just like scrolling or browsing through the uh, New York Times, you could go over to bandwidth management within the browser settings and uncheck load images. So that way when you go to New York or the New York Times or whatever website you go to, um, you could just load up just the text and that way you're not loading images because for example, you know, an article, for example, on phonebuff.com, the text will be only like 10 kilobytes where the picture will be like 50 or 60 kilobytes. So obviously, if you don't really need the picture and it doesn't really even matter, there's no point to load it. So that's step number four or tip number four. And the last tip and probably the most important is to use Wi-Fi, as you can see my Wi-Fi is on, anytime you can. And um, you know, you don't obviously, you're not always going to have access to Wi-Fi, but what you can do is like, for example, on your uh, Play Store, you could go over to the settings. And what you could do is set it to where uh, apps only update on, on Wi-Fi. So if you have this guy checked right here, um, they'll only update when you're on Wi-Fi connection because you don't want to just be updating apps, you know, when you're on 3G or 4G because that's going to be using up your data plan. So that's one thing you want to do. Um, if you're downloading apps in general, try to do it when you're on a Wi-Fi connection. If you're downloading email attachments, if you're sending pictures to a friend or whatever it is, do it over Wi-Fi because those things take up a lot of bandwidth and, you know, it's just really something that you could wait for most of the time. So anyway, those are my top five tips. Hopefully they help you. If they do, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.